Hey, you there. I, I can see you on the cameras. I am so happy to see you. And I need your help with something. Wait, can you even hear me? Hello? Listen, if you can hear what I'm saying, wave at any camera. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad you're here. I thought this was the end. I was looking around and walked into the security room. Then the door closed behind me and I've been stuck inside since. It needs a light blue key card to open, but I don't have it. I know why you're here and I can help you, but you've got to get me out of here. If I recall correctly, uh, only maintenance workers held the light blue key card. So you're gonna have to go down to the maintenance room and look there. The door there is probably locked as well, and I can't open it from here, but I do have control over the break room door. Here, I open it for you. See if you can find anything useful in there. Oh, the good old drones. I lost mine a couple of weeks ago. Maintenance workers used them for all sorts of things, like reaching high places and, and grabbing things that fell into the abyss and sometimes even comfort. It's good that you have one. It might be useful in our little conundrum. Take a look around and see if you can figure out how to get into the maintenance room. I'm unsure if it can be of much help, but uh, wave at the cameras if you need my insight. My memory is a little fuzzy, but I do remember something about management allowing workers with good scores to punch in later than those with worse scores. The better your performance, the later you're allowed to punch in. This was to encourage workers with lower scores to come earlier and perform better. Naturally, this meant that the person with the lowest score would be punching in first. To make sure that this was always the case, a, a system was set up to only allow the workers to punch in in the perfect order that assumes that nobody is going to be late. Yeah, this system wasn't very well liked.
Three birds with one stone. I'll get all of your key cards. I'll get the perfect specimen. And I don't have to deal with a thing down there. And it's all thanks to you. Oh, come on. I didn't eat you that hard. Or maybe I, I did. Either way, it's best you take a nap while I prepare for our little surgery.
Welcome, our newest student. You're late to class. I'll let it slide this time since it's your first day, but be late again and I'll rip you to pieces. You're a new and unpopular student, so you will have to sit with the unpopular table in the middle. Now sit so we can begin. Sit. Class, so the first lesson of the day is math. Over the course of the semester, you will learn how to annihilate others, how to safely extract the human brain for eating, and... Oh, wait, I made a mistake. I think that's lesson four of the day. <laughs> for math, over the course of the semester, you will learn to add, subtract, divide, multiply, and so much more. I am so excited. Before we start, let's revise some of the basics. What is 68741236126193991212? plus 9819399912? And remember, wrong answers will be very harshly punished. <laughs> 78560635243524. Correct! You kids are really paying attention today. Next question, and one that I wrote myself. What is two plus two? Correct! Wow, I thought everyone would get it wrong. All right, last question before your lunch break. What is misery plus disappointment? My life. Correct! Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for math for the day. Go to your lunch break, and then we'll start the next lesson when you come back. Attention everyone, this announcement concludes your lunch break. Please return to your classes. Also, teachers, please keep in mind that we're on the lookout for a very, very naughty student, believed to be accompanied by a drone. If you catch them, call Principal Ban Ban's office immediately. Hey, you didn't see the person they're talking about, did you? Oh, what am I saying? You're one of the cool kids. Of course you don't talk to ugly, unpopular kids like them. Take a seat with the cool kids where you belong. Okay, kids, the next lesson is science. Like we did for math, and since this is the first science lesson of the semester, it will only be a review lesson. But first, let me introduce you to our classroom rules. No eating, no talking, no breathing, no moving, no asking. 
asking questions and no washroom breaks. Remember, I will have to punish you very, very harshly if you break any of those rules. Back to the review. Let's start with something easy. How hot is the sun? Nothing's as hot as me. <laughs> <laughs> but only because it made me laugh and because you're a cool kid. I can tell by your very cool glasses. Next question. How many hearts does an octopus have? Finger flip. Correct. Hmm, that's half right. Since Stinger Flint is close to an octopus, he's a jellyfish. But I'll allow it since you're a cool kid. Normal octopuses have three hearts. We humans have one, and Stinger Flynn has, um, I'm not sure actually, but let's move on. Next question. We have five senses, sight, smell, taste, touch, and... Ah! Correct. Oh, you just made me use my fifth sense. <laughs> Close enough, I'll allow it. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for science for today. Go on to your second break and then we'll start the next lesson when it's over. Attention everyone, this announcement concludes your second break. Please return to your classes. Oh wow, three new kids in one day? One unpopular kid? Yuck. One cool kid and one mean kid. Welcome! Sit on the table to your left where you belong so we can begin. Okay kids, the next lesson is health and kindness. Just like we did for math and science, it will only be a review lesson. Let's start with some common knowledge to freshen your stupid brains. Can anyone here give me an example of an unkind person? I will beat you to death. Correct! That is a perfect example. Good job! Assuming it wasn't directed at me, of course. Now, this time, can anyone give me an example of a kind person? I will give you immense pain. Correct! Exactly! Giving others things without expecting anything in return is exactly what kindness is. This class is going to be great! I can feel it! Wait, what was that? I wonder if it's a new student. Nobody move while I check it out.
Hello?
You know, on a normal day you'd be standing where I am, behind the safety of this glass. Like you're in a zoo watching some animals. Speaking of zoos, it's almost assembly time, where all the doors open, so we must keep this brief. Look, uh, I'm sorry I hit you, but you gotta understand. I needed something from you that I could only get if you were unconscious, and I was all out of sedatives. If you'd seen me, you wouldn't have trusted me, I, I know it. But there was one thing I didn't lie to you about, and that's me knowing why you're here. You're here for your children. I too am I'm working towards saving them, if you can believe it. But someone else has them. Someone far stronger than you and me both that resides deep in the abyss. Oh no, you've gotta go. There's an elevator in Opilabird's walkway. Take it and, and we'll talk again down there. You've been a bad student. Shit. Yeah.